Have you ever been in bed with someone and you haven't been able to fall asleep? Or this can work if you've been in bed and you have your dog laying next to you, or if your kids or your family are in the next room. It can work even if you haven't been in bed with someone before, but it works really well if you have. If you've ever been in bed with someone and not been able to fall asleep and you've been frustrated, you've been really frustrated saying, man, why can't I just get to sleep? I have to get up in the morning. I have to do things. And you've been thinking about things like work or what you're going to do the next day. I think you'll experience a miracle the next time you are in bed with someone or the next time you are in bed, period. I think what I have to share with you will help you to see something amazing. I had an amazing experience this morning when I was laying in bed with my wife. We've been married two and a half years. We have a happy marriage and a good home. And yet, I still miss a lot of the simple moments, the simple joys of just being together. The kinds of things that if we weren't together, such as through a death, then that we would miss. I know my dad passed away last year, and my mom says she'd give anything, anything to have even a bad day again with dad. I try and bring that awareness into every moment I have with my wife, and yet I still miss lots of the moments. Like this morning, I was missing, I woke up in bed around 3.30 in the morning and couldn't fall back asleep, which is a little unusual, although it's getting more usual as my wife gets later into her pregnancy. And so I was thinking about work. What could I do today? What could I do today? I had all these ideas for ads and new courses I could make on Udemy and different Facebook ads I could put up. And I put several of the ideas down in Evernote. And then at 5.10 in the morning, our alarm goes off at 5.30. My wife has to go to work. I'm lucky enough I can be here. I teach courses online, so I don't have to go to work. I often sleep in, I often miss when she's getting ready for bed. And so this morning I was ready to get up. I was ready to get straight out of bed at 5.10 before she even had to get up and start my work. I was ready, I said yes, let me go start my work now. And then something amazing happened. And I don't know where this came from, maybe it's because I've been on a path of spiritual development, getting to be more one with the universe or God as you might call it, getting to be a more spiritual person. I had the thought that I was about to make a little mistake and a little mistake I'd made a lot of times in my life before and that in the grand scheme of things, what was more worth doing? Appreciating a few extra moments with my wife in the morning or going to do a few extra moments of work that I could surely do later in the day. Then I realized the miracle that I had. I had time with her and I had perspective. Finally, I had perspective. I could see that I wasn't just laying in bed with my wife from the point of view that I'd laid in bed with my wife lots of times before. I wasn't just laying in bed trying to get ahead to the future and do some work to feel good. That here was the anything that my mom talks about with dad. Here it was, right here, right now. That's the anything. Because once someone's died, you don't get to go spend more time with them. You can only spend time with the people and animals you care about while they're alive. And that should help inform me that every moment is to be treasured in and of itself that I don't need to run ahead to the future. So I got this complete happiness and joy just to be in bed with my wife. And so I'll take you through the mental process that allowed me to see that. So I was at a place to start with where I wanted to get up and go do more work. I wanted to go do something that'd make me feel more fulfilled than just feeling like I was wasting time laying in bed. And then, all of a sudden I could see that there's nothing better I could possibly do than spend time with my wife in bed. Because let's look at it using the past and the future to help inform what I should do now. In the future, I will definitely, this body will fade and die at some point. 
and my wife's will too. And from that point of view, where either hers is faded and died or my body's faded and died or both, from that point of view, what would I have wanted to do at that moment when I was in bed? Would I have wanted to jump out of bed and go do more work? Certainly not. I would have wanted to have stayed in bed and to hold sacred that moment of just laying in bed, a normal, peaceful, beautiful moment with my wife, just laying in bed as she was trying to sleep. That's what I would want to do from that point of view, the point of view where I'd be in the hospital bed, looking back and saying what I'd wished I'd done in my life. That's what I'd want to do now. And that's easy to see because I can see it in my mom. Dad is gone. That is mom's reality. And mom can't go back and lay in bed with dad. Mom can't go back get those thousands of nights her and dad missed out on that precious time where they were angry at each other or they were aggravated. They can't go back and get that time. I can use that time because I am here now. Mom and dad had 30 years of marriage together and I can use what mom has learned after just two and a half years of marriage myself to remember that anything that mom would give. So I look at that. That helped me to see, oh, this is the anything right here. You've got it. There's nothing that can possibly happen in the future that's going to be better than what you already have right this moment. So treasure it. And at the same time, I can go back to the past because the same thing's there in the past. When I was 15 years old and I had a crush on a girl, I knew I prayed I would give anything just to spend the night with her in bed. I wanted that so bad at 15 and even back to first, second, third grade, I can remember just wanting to be in bed with my wife, laying in bed all by myself as a little seven, eight-year-old kid, wishing Wondering where my wife was. What was she doing? What was she going through? Where was she and why couldn't I be laying in bed with her? So from that kid's point of view or that teenager's point of view of that, God, just give anything. I want a girlfriend. I want to be in bed with a girl. What about that? How about that anything? There, I've got it. Now I'm in bed with my wife now. I've got that anything that I wanted for so many years as a kid. I've got that. And yet, how many times in our life do we miss? We want, we would give anything for something and then we get it and we forget about it. We want this great job or we want this great relationship, we get it. And all of a sudden you're laying in bed with the person that you'd give anything to get with and it's two years later and all you want to do is get up and do some work. Get up and try and send ads out on Facebook. Miss out on that precious anything time to go do something that is not any worse or better in the grand scheme of things, but to get up and do something that ignores that beauty and grace that's already in life, that tries to fast forward to the next thing. So next time... I'm in bed with my wife, which God willing will be tonight. I will make sure to remember this and remember that every moment's precious and that I don't need to fall asleep. That if I appreciate each moment in bed with her, I will fall asleep when the time is right and I will enjoy every one of those precious moments in the meantime. And that if I wake up early again, if my wife's out of sorts from being pregnant, if I wake up early again, there's no need to be mad or frustrated or there's no need to try and skip ahead to what I'll do in my work during the day. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And this brought a miracle for me this morning to wake up with immense gratitude, immense gratitude to be right where I am right now. That to me is a miracle to experience that immense gratitude because life is so wonderful and peaceful. 
I don't know how many mornings, but it's been hundreds of mornings I've kind of fast-forwarded through and passed by, and I haven't even noticed the immense, wonderful, peaceful gratitude, love in the home I have. And so today, I pray that I don't have to do it again. I pray that if I do it again, it will only be to learn the lesson that I've learned today. I'm thankful to have received this lesson today. I don't think I was ready for it a moment before in my life. And I pray that by sharing this with you, the next time you're in bed with someone or just laying in bed on your own, that you will be able to see the certainties of your past and future in a way that will help you to see the beauty and grace and gratitude just to have this moment. Things like your lungs work properly and you can breathe. Things like you're not dead yet. Things like life is peaceful and happy. And everything will be all right. So thank you very much for spending this time with me. I'm honored you're here, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, or on my podcast on iTunes or on Udemy. I'm grateful however you're here with me. I work each day to try and share my journey into being a more spiritual, loving, happy person. And I hope that's useful for you and the people in your life. I'm honored you've spent this time with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day today.